What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be seeing why Taiwan Chai's kick is so unblockable. Or maybe their chins just want to meet his foot. Let's find out. Taking a kick from Taiwan Chai <clears throat> is like getting hit with a sledgehammer. Based on recent history, I can believe that. if Broken you try arm. to block his kick, there's a very real chance that your bones will break under the pressure. And the scariest thing about Taiwan Chai isn't that he's shattered limbs. It's that he does it with the cool, calm demeanor of an international hitman. For him, it's just like another day. What a good looking office. dude, look at him. And it kind of is, because Tawan Chai has been doing this his entire life. He started the sport at seven years old and quickly took to the art of eight limbs, making his Lumpini Stadium debut at only 14. Now, as of this video, the 24 year old holds 130 24. wins across his decade long career recently capturing the featherweight one Muay Thai belt. With his devastating power, pinpoint accuracy, and ice-cold swagger, it doesn't yeah, seem swagger. like his pound-for-pound -pound talent is slowing down uh. anytime soon. Of course, underneath his debilitating strikes lie a foundation of high-level tools and tactics, gained from years of hard and patient practice. Let's first look at the very basics. The building block. Yeah, let's see the basics. Time. Come on, let me then, let me see we'll some. We'll dive deeper into the hidden nuances that are easy to miss while you're too busy being amazed by his highlight reel KOs. Of course, break it down for me, boy. Break it down Tyron for Chai's me now. Most lethal weapon is his roundhouse kick. It hits like a Louisville slugger, and he builds the rest of his entire style around it. Because of this, he prefers to fight at long to mid range, so as to yeah, always like have the perfect amount of space to unleash his monstrous attack at a moment's notice. Like Krokop and many kicking greats, he uses the classic strategy of one-shotting at three different targets. Head. Head. Body. Body, and then and probably legs. shin. This serves like a dangerous game of three-card Monty, but choosing the wrong defense won't just cost them money. It could cost them their consciousness. Suddenly bursting into teeps or crosses give opponents even more to worry about. What do you guys think? Is it more effective in this sport to like kick your opponent or to punch your opponent? Obviously having a mix of both is good, but which one do you guys think is the most lethal? If someone's coming at you with like their fists or if they snipe you with their leg kicks? As they anticipate the roundhouse, they open up the middle of their guard. And then Axe and comes in, baby. Avenue oh, he pushes. Yeah, yeah. Like Push the kick. Great Samar. Tawan Chai's teep looks like it's halfway to being a sidekick. By this was like the first the guy I watched, man. He's so good. And his power. He'll even complicate matters for his competitor by turning his foot outside, like a built-in mark for his tremendous roundhouse. Once his kick lands, blocked or not, Tawan Chai can dive in with punches. The Thai Phenom is phenomenal at throwing punches off the retraction of his kicks. Bringing it back, right? And setting up. This okay, isn't wow. only an excellent timing change. It also catches the pull. Oh, he brings it all the way back. To counter, which is almost a requirement when you commit as hard as he does to his roundhouse. Opponents will take the opportunity to try and throw back. As such, he has fantastic defensive instincts. Both it's actually very interesting that he kicks the target and brings it back behind him. While throwing and retracting his kicks, he can expertly slip punches while kicking even throwing in a counter afterwards. Or he could parry the punches away during the retraction of his kick. The way that he stays balanced during and after such dynamic exchanges is insanely impressive. It's not like opponents don't do their very best to stay out of Tawan Chai's kicking range, either by moving in close to clinch and smother, or by backing away. Tawan Chai not only has an answer for opponents attempting to take him out of his preferred range, he punishes them for even trying. And unfortunately for them, the punishments are incredibly Ooh, the push hard. Kick. Dang. Let's first look Timber. at what happens when opponents try to close the gap. Usually Tawan Chai will use a piece of footwork called an L step to quickly change the angle if an opponent like a 90 degree. Suit. Oh, Cassie. This I love that. footwork maneuver lets him do his best Ernesto Hoost impression, making opponents walk into the So it's the same the fights. Body, I want to see some more. And even head. He'll also use Oof, the L step to line up Sorry, a hard dude. Clock. Or instead of an L step to play with angles, Tawan Chai will instead sometimes use a timing trick. He'll break his rhythm, holding his retreat to 
stop short or rebound forward offbeat, driving opponents into an unexpected attack. For this maneuver, he'll break out aggressive teeps and teeth rattling punch combinations. Interesting, okay. And there's and not much on him. Is he like a new, new fighter? Kicks. There's not many fights. Pulling opponents into Always the same ones. After all, if you hope to dominate in one area of the fight, the last thing you want is your opponent competing with you there. Notice how he expertly throws his opponent's legs Whoa. sideways to force them out of position. Alternatively, he'll let over-eager foes rush into the clinch, often using their momentum And then sweep. throws them around. Now let's look at the other situation. When an opponent tries to escape from the onslaught... Oh, the smiling fight, destroyer, Omichai man. will of course follow opponents as they try to move away, attacking with the tried and true blitz. The problem with the straightforward blitz has always been that the time it takes to properly throw each attack gives the opponents time to retreat or change angles. So, Tawan Chai will use feints with Ooh, that's no a push, isn't it? closing forward oh, instead. Feints. Yeah, yeah, he'll... Nice. Only pretending to wind up for a big shot. And while his opponent is busy defending phantom strikes, Tawan Chai is closing in for the real deal. A fainted kick can turn into a shift. Dude, that classic guy is just getting a beating. He doesn't know what he's doing. He'll use forward dynamics similar to a Superman punch to set up full power fireworks. All right, this one's for the advanced students. Let's look at how Tom Ooh, would try to his kicks for maximum power, speed, and trajectory. Let's see if Most I can also figure out what these uh, advanced what techniques are. With their front foot while kicking. Some will simply pivot as they kick. Others will step out first. Tawan Chai does the latter, but he doesn't just step into the front foot turn. He leaps into it. I guess it all dependent on the distance, the though. Is he going backwards or is he coming forward? Down of Sugar Ray Leonard, but with a Muay Thai twist. This covert split step and foot pivot allows him to set up his kick the same way he would if he were stepping out. But that's not the impressive part. This is simply a shortcut that he could build right into the rest of his footwork to save time and attack off rhythm. Turning your foot as you go forward, it's the anticipation that they're actually going to slide back. So if you know your range, you're actually just pivoting as you go forward to just catch them. If you're pivoting on the spot, it's because you know either you want to hit low or high, but on the spot. So I can kind of see that and I see what he's saying, but it's not like a flying pivot. It's just understanding that it's like a long kick and you're pivoting, making sure that you have maximum reach also remember if you're pivoting your foot right if i pivot i can extend my leg to the maximum if i don't i'm gonna be more kind of close and hunched it makes his kick so much more effective by disguising them let's look at how here Tawan chai cross steps with his lead foot okay and then rather than stepping through with the rear leg to complete the sequence he instead split steps and turns his foot out to launch into a roundhouse as you can see, yeah, he can see the lull. Yeah, this bang. same off wow, well done. Wow, well, well done. Speed, offering a ton of stopping power. Or he can use it while stepping down off of checking. It's these small shortcuts that make because your front leg fight. is the placement Even for your back leg kicks. Punches, you can see the micro steps, setting his feet up for the next kick. And see right there, he wanted to go up high, but he was too close. So he brought that front leg. He jumped backwards because if you want to pivot and you want that range, you have to make sure you have that long room, right? That distance. So that's why you'll see him jump back, pivot, and then hit up. Otherwise, the body's going to go forward more to get that high. So it's more like a, like a crescent kick or an inwards axe kick. Or notice how he'll use the last second hop during the extension of his kick to create the right distance. Yeah, these it's, are the see, nuances creating of a that next distance. level fighter like wow. That's why I think I like watching him because it reminds me of just that, that footwork and the kicking distance. Kawachai is set for a long-anticipated battle against a fellow combat sports superstar, Superbon, on December 22nd. And with Tawanchai's Muay Thai title on the line, I have a feeling the battle that ensues will no doubt become one of the greatest spectacles of the year. I've left a link to the info below. From the Modern Martial Artist, this has been David Christian, wishing you 
happy trip that was short but still a great video i was just really intrigued with taiwan chai he was the first fighter in muay thai or kickboxing that i really kind of saw that intrigued me to kind of see more videos of that sport i also thought mma was one championship so that got me a little bit confused but now i know more which is crazy the comment section it helps so much i still can't believe how much i've learned i really really enjoy watching uh rotang and uh, taiwan chai those two fighters are just phenomenal they were the first two that i kind of dived deeply into and now learning more about all these other guys it's opened up the whole world for me and having the uh, information of what k1 is the grand prix i'm honestly just it's so much information for me and i'm trying to grasp it all with you guys just helping me learn so keep on giving me that information that might have been missed in some of these videos i really do appreciate it but for the video that's it i hope you guys enjoy today's content i know it wasn't too long it was a little short but if you enjoyed yourself if you enjoyed what you watch like the video subscribe if you haven't already i'll catch you guys on the next one cheers for now now. <laughs>